His Bizl army is the second largest insurgent group fighting against the government in Afghanistan. Earlier this month, more than 60 of their fighters surrendered their weapons after clashes with the Taliban left scores dead on both sides in the northeast of the country, their traditional stronghold, where the Taliban has been reinforcing its presence and attempting to exert more control. A senior delegation, including Hezbi Islami's second-in-command, has been in Kabul for the last three days and completed face-to-face -face talks with President Karzai on Monday morning. It could mark a dramatic breakthrough in the Afghan leader's attempts to sever the back of the insurgency through negotiations, tempting fighters to lay down their weapons in a policy of reconciliation and reintegration into Afghan society and the political process. The leader of Hezbi Islami, Gulbuddin Hekmatia, was a veteran resistance leader during the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan. Up to now, he's been closely allied with the Taliban, and his fighters, several thousand strong, have carried out hundreds of attacks against NATO troops and Afghan government forces. The fact that Hezbi Islami, the senior echelon of Hezbi Islami leaders, have decided to come into the open with the idea of uh, the negotiating with the government, I think is pretty significant. And uh, in my opinion, it can provide some much needed momentum to the whole idea of seeking a non-military solution to the war in Afghanistan. The arrest of the Taliban's military commander, Mullah Baradar, in Pakistan last month, after being involved in negotiations over a peace plan, was a major blow to the Afghan government's hopes of brokering a deal. If President Karzai manages to peel away Hizb Islami from the fight against him, then it will definitely weaken the Taliban's armed struggle and might even convince some of their senior military commanders to cut their own deal with the Afghan government. The developments come just as troop reinforcements are being deployed in the Taliban heartlands and a major offensive is getting underway in and around Kandahar. The timing couldn't be better. David Chater, Al Jazeera. Kabul.